everyone, Trudy Mike here, starting a bit of a let's play for you. Um, recently, I've been playing a lot of modded worlds and just kind of building a bunch of stuff. Um, I reverted this back to my relatively unmodded jar. It does have the HD texture mod, but um, yeah. So, Trudy Mike's let's play, and then I'll leave the world seed blank. Let's start this out. So yeah, I'm just going to play legit for you guys, commentate over that, get ready for 1.7. I probably won't continue this world in 1.7 because of the massive changes that I think are going to get implemented. So uh, yeah, let's just get going. So uh, all of you who play Minecraft, which I'm pretty sure are all of my subscribers, you should know what I'm doing. So I'm not really going to commentate over the boring stuff, uh, anything interesting, maybe, yeah, nothing too much. Uh, maybe we'll talk about 1.7 for a second. Uh, I'm super excited for Pistons. I know some people are kind of freaking out because they don't launch stuff, and at first I was really disappointed, I have to say that. Um, I really liked how the Piston mod launched stuff. But after hearing Jeb speak um, recently about this, I realize why they are kind of nerfing them in a way. And, it, and it's just not that they don't want them to launch stuff, but if it turns out that launching stuff is overpowered and they don't want it in the game, as opposed to realizing that launching stuff would add something to the game and is not overpowered, it, it's easier to add a feature than take away a feature because they, they have two and a half million users now. So that's a lot of people to disappoint if you're just like, oh, sorry guys, guess you guess you can't launch stuff with pistons anymore. But if, if you still want to launch them, then I'm sure that uh, Hippopotamus will keep up his piston mod since it is different to the real game pistons in quite a few ways, especially launching. But um, the, the fact that it doesn't launch does add the ability to make maybe a jump pad later on or a redstone jump pad or a push pad or something like that that would actually be a little more balanced and be more geared towards jumping and pushing objects like sand or whatever. So that's my opinion on that. Um, I got a lot of wood here. Uh, just gonna try and find some coal. This looks like a decent place to find it. Oh, forgot. I must be still on peaceful. Let's go ahead and change that to normal. Uh, anybody wondering, I am using John Smith's texture pack. Uh, I might switch it up a bit. I have a few texture packs I like right now. Doku Craft is one of my favorites, but uh, right now I'm liking the John Smith a little more, so I'm going to just go ahead and stick with that for a bit. Um, ooh, found some cool. Okay. Cool, cool. Looks like we can have a beach house here even. Alright. So, as you can see, my guy is currently Batman. No particular reason to that. I'm not a particularly huge Batman fan. I just thought that being Batman would be really sweet. So, yeah, that's the story behind that. make about 16 sticks I find is a good number but I actually have a lot of wood right now so maybe I'll make a bit more make a pickaxe make an axe shovel maybe make a few more pickaxes actually um, not gonna make a hoe sword though or a wooden club as it is in John Smith's make two of those and uh, save the rest of my stuff and... all right two things of coal already so yeah um, I don't really use charcoal like I know it's in the game and it's an easy way to get coal if you can't find it on your first night, but 
I don't know, since I've been playing for a while, a long time before charcoal and whatever, and coal at some points of that time I played was actually incredibly difficult to find. My strategy is just that if I can't find coal in the first day, I just kind of dig myself into a corner and wait 10 minutes until daytime comes. Or I just dig myself into a corner and lay a bed down. Uh, I find that that strategy causes monsters not to spawn sometimes, and you can actually make it through the night without dying. But depends on what you like to do and what you find appealing. Um, I'm gonna dig some dirt here. Maybe terraform the land a bit. And get some stone. Maybe turn this into my quarry. My shovel's gonna die. Nice entrance. Um, oh, there's a lot of dirt here. I'm gonna be mining with a shovel a lot more. Okay, let's blow through a few pickaxes. Need some cobble. So yeah, anyways, um, what else, what else? E3 recently, a lot of cool games coming out. Uh, Wii U looks pretty neat. Uh, just throwing that out there. Not sure what it has to do with Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, nothing really. Just kind of keeping the conversation going. Um, yeah. So usually when I play Minecraft, I like to keep my... Well, sometimes I like to just kind of keep my main base as the mine for quite a while, but with this nice spawn, I'm just going to dig out a fairly big area here, and I'm just going to go back and let's see what time it is. Okay, I've got just under half the day left, um, so we are going to build a house. Uh, probably going to need some more wood. chop some wood I guess now that I've got a, a real axe. It's not really mining wood. Well I guess it's never really mining wood. It's always just punching wood. I really hate these big trees. My uh, favorite trees are the uh, pine trees or uh, I don't I forget what they're even called officially but I call them pine trees because they just grow straight up and they don't have any of those stupid branches so they're super easy to chop down and really easy to grow because they're like uh, space finding algorithms really simple so you can just force them to grow pretty much anywhere and yeah just all around easier to deal with um, yeah I have to say that life with uh, degenerating leaves is a lot easier than life without there's a long time during alpha where we didn't have degenerating leaves and it was just super annoying because uh, we had it had that feature for a long time but then the way it worked was just not very good like you could have pathways of leaves going on for a very long time because it was kind of a cheap and easy way to uh, do leaf degeneration and I think that's it for the tree. oh no this one just has wood hidden all over inside ow oh, I forgot I'm not peaceful See, those are the hard lessons I'm going to learn after I've been playing with all these mods and I've been working on a map to uh, recreate Chrono Trigger in Minecraft, so I've been using like single player commands and like every mod under the sun pretty much, and it's just, it, it's really nice, because you know, flying and jumping super high and running really fast, it's all nice, and having too many items to just generate your items, but it kind of gets you desensitized to the amount of work it takes to um, really build a Minecraft world and get stuff done. So, um, uh, I might have to 
to build a rush house at night here. Actually, we can probably build it in the next few minutes here. Just gonna build a little shack, I guess. Uh, does the shift click work? Uh, just like that, okay. Alright, so let's just build a quick house right about um, whatever. Quick house right there. Maybe pretty small right now. I'll expand it later. It's going to be night time, probably getting dangerously close to the end of the video, whatever. We will make it work. Actually, we're just going to cut it off right there.